Quinn McDowell set the tournament scoring record tonight with 35 points. Um, and uh, we'll open up for questions for uh, both of these guys. Uh, Quinn has a knee. <laughs> oh, knee's fine, uh, obviously. <laughs> Brandon, what, what can you say about the guy over there on your left? I mean, it's, and you being a freshman, he's, you've also had to look up to him for leadership over the course of this year, too. Um, he's just, you know, as you've seen tonight, he's a great player. Um, but most of all, what I you know, look up to, he's a great leader and a great person. And, you know, if I have any questions or um, if I'm struggling with anything, he's always right there. And, um, you know, situations and games like this, you know, we look for him to, you know, step up big, and he does it every time. Quinn, it was one point in the second half there, you hit a three from the top of the key, and the next possession, you, or two possessions later, you took a kind of a pull-up three that I don't usually see you take. Was there a point where you just knew everything you were throwing up was going in? Uh, I guess players talk a lot about the, the zone, and uh, I didn't even really know I was in the zone until I looked up and I had 30. <laughs> Humpty Hitchens is like, hey, man, you got 30. I'm like, oh, wow. I didn't know when did that happen? <laughs> but, no, I mean, it's is, it is such a – I'm just so blessed to be here. I'm so thankful. Um, God has given me the opportunity to be here. And uh, teammates played great tonight. Everybody played uh, so hard and uh, with such an amount of passion that um, I think, in a way, we, we, we surprised them a little bit. Um, so it was a great night. You guys took uh, 13 total three-pointers tonight. It seemed like early on, especially, you wanted to try to get to the basket, take some shots to the paint. What was kind of the offensive game plan coming into tonight's game? Um, <laughs> score more points than they do. Um, now, the guy next to me, he's, he's one of the best uh, drivers and, uh, and somebody who's able to draw fouls better than a lot of people in the league. Um, so his penetration a lot of, opens up a lot of things a lot of times for us. And uh, he does a great job of um, drawing fouls. And, all the, all the way across the board tonight, um, guys hit, stepped up and hit big free throws. Uh, Matt Rum hit two big, huge free throws at the end there, too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, two FMA. Quinn, um, with all the close losses you guys have been through this season, does that go through your head at all in the final seconds? Or, or does this provide some vindication for that? Uh, the second one, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, I mean, the coaches have preached to us all year that um, – just got to keep getting better, keep getting better, and uh, eventually things are going to gonna play themselves out. Um, and tonight, it, it really paid off, and it, it feels, feels great. And, Brandon, can you just discuss those two free throws you made like you're a senior? <laughs> oh, man, it was, it was great. Um, you know, before, you know, before I stepped to the line, coaches told me to, you know, shoot them with confidence. So I uh, stepped to the line and knocked them down. <clears throat> joined by William Mary Coach Tony Shaver. We get a comment from you, Coach Shaver, on the game. I mean, I'll take any questions you have. I'm not sure how you could be any proud of a basketball team than I am right now. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty amazing to watch, quite honestly. Tony, whenever you play uh, James Madison, Bowles is obviously right here. Bowles is obviously the, the centerpiece. Uh, what were you able to do to, aside from the foul trouble, to really take him out of this game? Well, I think tonight? the foul trouble hurting tonight a little bit, but we um, we do a, we do a couple different things in doubling down. I mean, he's. He's a guy that's capable of getting 40 points in any given night. Uh, the, the hard thing about doubling him is he, you leave other good players open. And, uh, um, and we double some down from the perimeter. And we, in the second half, we begin to double sort of post to post a little bit. And uh, yeah, I just try to keep him guessing, you know. And, and I thought Marcus Kitts and Quinn in particular, and, and Tim Rusto when he was in, they really battled him hard. I mean, he, I, I haven't honestly seen the stats, but uh, five points, wow. He took three shots tonight. It's amazing to think about that. Foul trouble obviously had something to do with that, but you know, you got to stop him to beat James Madison. Coach, what are you looking at tomorrow in terms of Hofstra and Quinn and Brandon? You guys have are obviously guards who have gone toe to toe with Charles Jenkins twice now. Brandon, Charles actually uh, specifically named you as someone who had really beaten him in the first matchup, and then he he thought he was able to sh uh, get bet the better of you on defense in the second matchup. Uh, so, what are you looking at tomorrow in terms of Hofstra? Um, is that for me? Uh, please, and then okay, for sure. the two of them as well. Well, I, honestly, we've thought very little about Hofstra at this point in time. I mean, I know that would be our second round matchup if we were fortunate to get there. But, you know, I, I've told our players, and I really do believe it, I don't really care whether you're the first seed or the 12th seed. The first game in the tournament is the most difficult to win. And if you think for one second beyond that, you'll be home. Uh, but in turning our attention to Hofstra, I mean, we played them very well. I mean, we'll, we'll walk on the floor with confidence tomorrow night. Uh, 
you know, and I believe at our place, uh, you know, we had, we're down one. We had the ball for the last shot and didn't make it. And at their place, uh, a guy named Jenkins made two great shots, you know, to, to tie it and then beat us in overtime. And the only thing I'll tell you is if, if we're, we're up one or two again, uh, we're going we're gonna to put five guys on Jenkins and somebody else is going to have to score the ball. I can tell you that. No, like Coach said, uh, you take it one game at a time, and it's a one-game tournament uh, the entire weekend. So, um, but uh, we have played them well, and I, I think we, um, personnel-wise, I think we match up with them maybe a little bit better than some other teams. But I mean, they're they're so talented, and um, they they work together so well, and everything r- runs through um, Jenkins, and obviously everyone here knows how great of a player he is, and so it'll be a, it'll be a big challenge tomorrow night. Tony, two questions, if I may. Um, first, as I asked Quinn, as much heartbreak as you guys have suffered this year, did you feel like you were kind of due to win a close one out there? Well, I mean, I think we had confidence in that ball game. And, I, you know, whether it helps or not, we, we did talk to our team this morning before we shot around out here that, you know, we, these guys have prepared so well. I mean, they, you know, I mean, I, I guess a lot of people will define this team by their winning, winning, win and loss record. I don't. I mean, this is a great group, a great team, and, and uh, I thought we would walk on the floor with some, some inner, inner arrogance tonight, and, and we did. And uh, the only other thing we talked about is, you know, our, we've been good in this tournament in, in recent years, and uh, I think one of our assistants showed me a stat the other day, and we, maybe we need to get it to all our recruits out there, but in the last three years, you know, nobody, there's only one team that's won more CA tournament games than William & Mary, and that's VCU's won one more than we have. So. We, we, we wanted to walk on this floor with confidence today, and I think our guys did. I really admire that. Kendricks Brown got the start for you. Can you talk about his production, especially on the re- rebounding side of things? Well, I, I think Kendricks is a great example of this team. You know, he started the year for us in the, in the starting lineup and struggled for us and lost his job there for a while. And his resurgence has been one of the real keys to our last month of basketball. Uh, you know, he doesn't do a lot offensively. You know, in the scoring column, but he had four assists and one turnover tonight. And he had nine man rebounds tonight. Every one of them was a big rebound. And, and I can't tell you how much better we are defensively when he's on the floor than when he's not. I mean, it's incredible to watch the difference. And, um, you know, we, we put him on the ball in the last minute and a half of the ball game. Devin Moore was penetrating. This rookie guard wasn't getting it done over here. And, uh, so we put Ken back out at the point a little bit, and he, you know, I think it, if we made a good move tonight, that was probably it. I think Ken, he's so valuable to our basketball team. Quinn, despite the fact that you beat them at their place last month, did you get the sense that they were at all overconfident today through their body language or anything they said on the court? Uh, we read the article. Um, I don't know if you guys did, but I'll leave it at that. Can you put into context what, what he did tonight, 10 for 12, 5 for 6, 10 of 11? I mean, it's one of the best performances I've ever seen. I mean, you, you very seldom see a young guy take over a game in almost every way, and Quinn McDowell did that tonight. I mean, we rode his shoulders to a win tonight. I mean, it's a phenomenal performance. I mean, I honestly didn't realize he had 35. I think Chris Sears said that is a CA tournament record. I'm not sure about that. but. Um, Big shot after big shot, and he's playing on one leg. I mean, probably have to give him some IVs tonight, uh, but uh, he'll be ready to play tomorrow. It's just it's an incredible performance. <clears throat> Tony, what did you take from the kind of alluded to this earlier, but what did you take from the 2008 run that you can uh, apply when you're playing on Friday and trying to get to Monday night? Well. I'd like to have some of the same players with us right now. Uh, but uh, I, we did talk to our team about that success we've had here and that, that we wanted to draw from the strength of the past performances here. You know, when, when a game starts, you've got to get inside those, those lines and play for 40 minutes. But we did want to try to draw from the strength of our past success. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you.